Instagram page, we do a lot of epoxy pours. So today we are gonna show you how to build a plywood floor. When selecting material for your form, it is important to select material that is flat and doesn't have a lot of imperfections from previous use. You're going to want to make sure the plywood is large enough to rip a few strips for the walls and still be big enough to fit your slab. It is important to make sure your walls are half inch to an inch taller than the thickness of your slab. Having a perfectly straight cut is key to make sure you can get a watertight seal when attaching the walls to the base of your form. creates a watertight seal over the wood. Take your time with this step and make sure you don't have any air pockets trapped under the tape and ensure the tape doesn't have any holes in it caused from splinters or imperfections in the wood. silicone and screws to attach the sidewalls to the base of our form. Once you apply the bead of silicone to the edge of the base of the form, you can screw the sidewalls on. Repeat this step for all four sides of the form. seams of your form. This will ensure that the form is watertight. Let the form cure as per the instructions on the silicone used for the form. 